Hey, this is Diane Lee. I'm back at school for part three of getting my classroom ready. I'm hoping to label my art center, my writing center, and maybe a few other areas today. So I'll just film a little of what I'm doing and let you know how it goes. So I'm back in my classroom. I'm gonna show you a little bit about like what I wanna get done, so what it looks like before and then what it looks like after, and hopefully I'll be able to get to everything and maybe more. This is my main classroom bulletin board that I change almost weekly. I like to change it with our theme. What I'm wanting to do is get the kids' names, green for preschool, purple for pre-K, and then I got these. Um, these little clothespins with a little uh, little sharp tack on the end here. I think I want to use these to hang their art with this year. And I don't have any purple ones, so I'm not going to be able to color coordinate for the classes. But I think I'm going to just put two of the same ones in kind of a rainbow color order under everyone's name. So I want to do that. Um, right here, I have a bunch of labels. It's a pretty big stack of labels for my uh, art center you can see some of my old labels i don't like that font anymore so i want to change that um, and most of my shelves are not labeled so i want to get that done and i'm going to come over here to the writing center i want to get this fully stocked labeled and ready to go for the first of the year okay i'm looking at the clock it's 10 minutes to one i want to be super realistic about this I have all those labels done. I have all the names done for the kids. All I have to do is tape labels on and put the names up. I wanna see how long all this takes me. Um, I do have a little stocking to do of my writing center and I wanna straighten up and clean my art center, but I'll give you a realistic time frame for how long everything I did today took because everything takes quite a long time. Make sure you give yourself enough time to set up your classroom, super important. Okay, I cleaned out the shelf, scraped off any old adhesive, and so I put my labels exactly how I want them. I put just a loop of scotch tape on them, and then I'll place them where I think I want them to go. And I have this one marker caddy back there, this one here, uh, the fun scissors, our scrapbook scissors. Let's stick those back there. Ooh, I think I might want to move those over a little bit because I have space to put uh, multicultural markers right there and maybe something flat. So I think I'm going to move those over and then I will affix them to my shelf. Okay, so this is my main bulletin board and I'm going to come up a little closer. So I have got my preschool names all in green. And I'll show you, I've got their names tacked up with a transparent tack. Now I'm gonna have to move them. I know I'll get more kids and that is really sad because I worked really hard spacing this. But um, each kid has two of these little uh, clothes pins so I can hang their art. No more staples or tacks past that point. So here we are. And I am thinking maybe I might even make these names smaller. I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to make these names. They're so easy. So if you want just something nice and clean like these um, duo colored stripes, you could do rainbow, you could do anything you want. I'm gonna show you guys how to make that. So there's the bulletin board. All right, my art center is kind of done. I haven't put all of the labels down permanently. Um, I made a label for scrap paper, but I don't know where it went. Forgot to make one for pipettes. Um, but I'll just show you what I've got. Oh, I made one for colored tape too. I think I left a sheet at home. So I've got markers, skin tone markers, scissors with fun scissors behind, crayons, two crayon caddies in there liquid glue and glue sticks restocked everything with new um happiest day of my life i got rid of all my elmer's bottles and i am doing all squeeze bottles and i'm so glad i feel like i've banished evil 
Um, down here I've got watercolor trays, paint brushes, paint cups, um, buttons, pipettes, or that label's going to go in that empty space. Pony beads, secret shapes, skin tone crayons, white crayons, white crayons. I love so much because we do a lot of pro uh, projects on black paper and we need to get their names on there or dark blue paper. Um, my paper, I've got craft sticks, tissue squares and pom-poms. Here's my scrap paper with no label, googly eyes, glitter, and this really cool container used to be completely organized with googly eyes, but right before um, we left for the first COVID lockdown, I dropped it and they went everywhere. And here's my glitter in these awesome little salt and pepper shakers that I love so much. And I left something out up here to show you guys because it is my favorite helpful hint. These are Play-Doh scrapers. And what I use these for is um, after we've done a project with a lot of glue from glue sticks, I will lay um, some wipes like baby wipes or Clorox wipes over the gluey spots for just a few minutes, maybe two or three minutes. And then I take one of these and I scrape the glue off and it comes off, so super easy. Um, let's see what else I did today. As you can see, I work in a mess. Everything, I have to see everything before um, I can organize it because it just, I'm very visual. I did organize my um, loom bands for geo boards. I got this handy little organizer. I have another one, don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I like it, so I'll do that. I'm gonna take my marker trash home and make some liquid watercolor with the dried up markers. And I'm gonna do a little video on how we do that, but I got a lot done today and it is 4.30. So yeah, it took me a while. Okay, so that does it for me. Um, it's been a long and kind of tiring day, but I did get a lot done. Um, I feel good about the labeling I did. I really thought I could label all my toys and everything today, but I really got into cleaning all my shelves and just making sure that I cut the paper for my writing center and basically have that all done. So when I come in for contract days, I know I'm gonna have a million meetings and I am at such a great place right now that my aides can do uh, the toy labeling and the other labeling I wanna do. And, um, but I'm really getting the bulk of everything done. There's a lot of cleanup to do, but that goes really fast. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one and maybe next time I will Gosh, more setup stuff. I do a lot of um, setting up in my back room and stuff, getting ready for lesson planning. So I'll probably share that with you guys too.